Would you like to use the QuickBooks Online multi-currency feature without a problem? Well, then you should make sure that you know all about adjustment issues with the QuickBooks Online multi-currency feature. If you have any questions about this topic, you can leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to help you. And of course, if you feel the video helped you, I hope you will click like and don't forget to subscribe to get updates on new videos that come out all the time. So why do we need to make a home currency adjustment before we remove the foreign units from the foreign bank account? Well. Although QuickBooks is so great, if you do not make a home currency adjustment before you pay from the account with the other currency, the account balance in dollars will be out of sync with the number of units of currency in the account. Now, what am I talking about? Well, in the prior video, the balance of the Bank of Guyana was worth 65 US dollars and that's because we had previously acquired 5,000 Guyanese dollars at the rate of 0 0.006 and then on a later date we acquired another 5,000 Guyanese dollars at the rate of 0 0.007 now the first 5,000 of Guyana dollars were worth 30 US dollars and the second 5,000 were worth 35 US dollars if you multiply across. And that's the reason why all 10,000 of the Guyana dollars in the bank account are equal to 65 US dollars. Now, in our example, instead of doing a home currency adjustment like we should before we pay, we simply put the point zero zero eight dollars per Guyana in the exchange rate window when we record the payment so we put it here instead of making a formal home currency adjustment so what happens well QuickBooks will remove all ten thousand of the Guyana dollars so you will have zero units of the currency in the account but they will be removed at the rate of 0 .008, not the rate they went in at. The number of Guyana units goes down to zero, and in reality you have a $15 gain like we did in the last video. However, because you did not do a home currency adjustment before you paid, instead of recording the gain, QuickBooks will record a change in the balance of the bank account for the whole amount of the dollar value of the expense that you paid. Now that's the crucial point. Let me say it again. Because you did not do a home currency adjustment before you paid, instead of recording a gain, QuickBooks will record a change in the balance of the bank account for the whole amount of the dollar value of the expense that you paid. So what should QuickBooks record? Well, it should record paying $80 for the expense and you have a $15 gain at the moment you pay that expense. But what will it record? Instead of a $15 gain, it will instead put the bank balance as minus $15 even though you paid all of the Guyana dollars out of the bank account. For example, let's imagine on February 28, we paid Gina Casina, a vendor in Guyana, 10,000 Guyanese dollars for a delivery. The Guyana dollar was worth 0 .008 on the day that we paid. So what should be the result? Well, the Guyana bank balance should only go down to $65 because we only have 65 US dollars worth of Guyana in that account. Okay, it should become zero 
and there should be zero units left in the account. The delivery expense should appear on the trial balance increased by $80 because that's really the value of what you paid for the service at the moment you paid it. Even though you paid 10,000 Guyana dollars, it was worth $80 of delivery at the moment you paid it. And the gain on the exchange of the Guyana dollars should increase to f by 15 and make it, I think, 2630 or whatever it was when we did it properly in the prior video. However, what will be the result? Well, the delivery expense or whatever service you pay for must increase by the US dollar value of the service at the moment you paid. And you paid all 10,000 Guyana dollars and that's why it goes up by $80. You're paying all of the Guyana dollars in the account. But instead of recording the $15 gain, the Guyana bank balance will decrease by the whole $80. And even though there are zero units left, the balance of the Guyana bank account will unfortunately go down to negative 15, even though it should be zero, because there are zero units left. It means that the Guyana bank account will be out of sync regarding the value of each unit compared to the balance of the account. Now, if we pay for delivery 80 US dollars or all 10,000 Guyana dollars, what should be the proper result? Well, we paid $80 worth of US dollars worth of delivery, so delivery expense should increase by $80. And we paid all of our Guyana dollars, we paid 10,000, so the balance should go down to zero and the $15 should increase the gain and bring it up to what it was in the previous video. But unfortunately, it will not. Unfortunately, what's going to happen is that even though delivery expense will increase by 80 as it should, the balance of the Bank of Guyana is going to become negative 15 instead of zero, and it will not include a gain at all. So there are zero units of currency, but the balance is negative. Watch. So here we are in the trial balance as if we never made the revalue currency adjustment. Now let's record the payment of Guyana dollars for delivery on February 17th. We click New, Expense, the date would be February 17th. The vendor we pay is Gina Casina. Now remember, we're paying from the Guyana dollar bank account. And she gives us delivery service. And the number of Guyana dollars that we are giving Gina is 10,000. And the rate, the rate that the Guyana dollar is at the moment we pay is 0 0.008 of the U.S. dollar. Just click OK because this is for illustrative purposes. Now watch what happens when we click Save and Close. So when we come back to the trial balance, you can see that delivery expense is correct because it increased by 80 US dollars because that's what those 10,000 Guyana dollars were worth at the moment we paid for the delivery. But notice, instead of increasing, or excuse me, instead of decreasing the gain, what it did was it made the balance of the bank account negative. That $15 should be an exchange gain or loss increasing the gain. But instead, it, that $15 is incorrectly recorded in the Bank of Guyana, making it a negative balance.
So we have zero units of Guyana dollars that we own. There are physically no Guyana dollars in the bank account, but the balance in QuickBooks is showing negative 15. So what's the solution? The solution is to delete the transaction, make the home currency adjustment, and record the transaction again. So I deleted the payment that I just recorded, and you can pause the video and delete the payment that if you followed along, and the numbers are back the way they were before the payment. The proper thing is to do the revalue currency before you pay the money out of the foreign bank account. Click the cog wheel, go over to currency, now you go to the row of the Guyana dollar and click revalue currency. The, now remove the check mark here. The date that you are revaluing is February 17th. Remove the check mark. Click custom rate. Remove, you have to keep removing the check mark or it won't work for you. Change this to point zero zero eight, and now when the check mark goes on, you see the proper gain or loss. Click Revalue and Save. You go to the trial balance, and now the numbers are what they need to be before you record the payment. The full gain has already been recorded, and the $15 has been added to exchange gain or loss, and the Bank of Guyana is at the proper balance for February 17th, $80. Now we can make the payment. We click the cog wheel. Oh, excuse me. We click the new menu and we go to check. We make sure that we are paying from the bank account of Guyana. We make sure the rate is exactly what the rate is recorded in the Bank of Guyana in our records as of the appropriate payment date. And we're paying Gina Casina and we're paying her for delivery expense and we're paying all of the 10,000 US dollars. I mean, excuse me, we're paying all of the 10,000 Guyana dollars that we have in the bank account. We click save and close, yes, and now you see that the proper balance of the bank account of Guyana is zero the proper amount of delivery expense is 80 US dollars because that was the value of the delivery that we paid and it increased it to 580 dollars.